How's it going? Brian back at it once again for your DIY tips and tricks roofing related or business related for that matter. If you like it, what we're going to do today is a power fan switch out, but I got a trick up my sleeve. You don't need to make a big mess and flat bar the whole thing, flashing flange and all out. Provided a few basic tools and knowledge of a drill or a screwdriver, yes, you can do this. We're going to take off the cap alone. I screwed up. I already did part of it. Then I figured out, damn, I'm bringing the camera along. I actually pulled it out. I'm going to show you a super cool trick on how to do this. Provided you can find the same vent, like this here, you got some bolts around the top dome cap here. You simply remove those, back up, make sure the power is off, safety first. You can find you one of these cool little things on Amazon, link in the description. It's an AC test, you're gonna make sure it's dead. Either physical switch in your attic or a breaker box, just verify the power is off. Because what we're gonna do is on the roof side, disconnect these around here, pull the cap off, then there's three bolts around in a triangle shape. You're going to remove those while on the third one, carefully, when you're doing the third one, hold the motor. And this whole bracket will come loose. You pull it out, set it just aside, reach in, disconnect your wiring that is disconnected. Put your new one in, reconnect it, put the motor tripod mount back on, put your cap back over, fasten those, dust your hands off, you're about wrapped up. Go on down to your utility breaker box area flip the power back on you are set my friends if you want to stick around to see how it's done i'm going to put the gopro mask on we're going to head up there it's a little bit of a treat hopefully you're not queasy it's two-story 10 12 probably let's get at it all right i had to go grab a hammer and some nails to be able to fasten the humidistat humidistat thermostat to a truss up there because it wasn't i want to make sure it's done good and a screwdriver because i need to screw the ground wire back into that so let's head on up and uh, be careful. Only do this if you are comfortable working on your roof. If you need safety equipment, by all means use safety equipment, harnesses, whatever you need. Ladder secured, cougar paws. Got a cushion right up where I'm working. All right, so here we are. We got the dome off, motor disconnected it out and removed. I apologize I didn't have the camera with me at the time. Uh, so remove the hood, set aside. The three bolts that hold in the power fan are right here, here, and here. When you're on your third one, hold the motor. After it's all disconnected, hold the motor, remove that, otherwise it can fall right through. Pull it out, set it aside, disconnect everything. I just hooked this in here so it didn't fall. The power is off and dead. Checked and verified. Get your Romex connector. Don't lose anything. There's the ground it's gonna have to go to, the ground, the bare copper. Then of course your hot and uh, this AC stuff is black and your common is white. You're gonna need to get this fished through here. Step one. Step two, get your Romex connector that holds it together and in on the box. Why that's so important, the vibration will be your enemy on this. If you don't put that on and you don't put the Romex connector in, now there are different kinds of the market, but if you don't use it, the vibration can more than likely will rub cutting your wire insulation off on this steel flange right here, and then it will short out. So the problem I'm running into is the bumps on this nut side are hitting right here on this thermostat or humidistat. So I had to loosen up this back side so I can actually twist the Romex connector itself and get it snug. <clears throat> there we go. Now that it's snug, I can now tighten the Romex connector, the bolts that pinch the actual wire. Uh, note on that, don't pinch it so tight you actually smush the wires together. I've actually done that once. 
on a three-way switch once and it was a pain to, fi to fi actually figure out what happened to it. Once you feel a little resistance, it's not much more. You just don't want to be able to pull the wire out. Okay, that's good. Once you get your wire nuts on, or your lock nuts, scotch locks, whatever you want to call them, make sure they are indeed in there and they're secured. Then fold them down somewhere you got room or no other bare metal is going to get in there and short it out. And then loop these other wires in around the sides so they're tucked in this cap. You don't want them to be in the way interfering with any of your knobs, switches, or anything. Then you're going to take your housing, get it put back on, make sure your settings are good at the time. Get it locked on. Alright, sorry about that. I had the guys on the job call me. I needed to take the call, figure out what was going on, coordinate with them on the, the job and the trash and all that stuff. So we are back at it now. Um, once you get your cap to your thermostat, humidistat back on, it's locked off. At that point, we are going to get this secured. Now, this might be a little tricky. You got to make sure you got room to get it in here. As well as when you get it in, this needs to not be up into the fan. So real quick, we're going to just look at this see what the best way to fasten it would be so that's not in the way here this will come back in it's going to line up with those it's going to be up top so i might loop it down on the bottom right back like this here Okay. Most of the hard stuff is done now. So I got the new fan mounted in, brackets are on. So it was this one, this one here, and this one. You can see how much easier and free that spins. Actually, it's basically spinning due to the heat rising out of this. So the other one was pretty seized up and not working. All right, now that we've done the hard part of getting the old motor out, the new motor set back in, back in its position, all the last step is to get the cap put back on and flip the power on and verify it's all working correctly. Alright, so your last step is basically turn the power back on and verify, yes it is blowing, it's a hot bath of air right now, so I'm not going to stick around very long. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever, anything you do, we greatly appreciate it here at Grand Roofing, we do it for you. Have a good one, and until next time, be safe and see you then. Alright. Cut. Brian with... Ah, shit. On this episode of DIY. How's it going, Brian? Once at it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a trick up my sleeve.
See, this is the stuff you run into. I need to put a bloopers reel together. <laughs>